for watching my video. This is my presentation on emerging strategies for learning a foreign language. My name is Luisario Cruz, and I work at Universidad Veracruzana as a professor. Emerging is a title because E refers to electronic or online. Emerging, two different kinds of frameworks for strategies to work effectively. Let's start. Well, currently, uh, one critical aspect in discussing effective teaching and learning is examining the effectiveness of teachers in developing a student's capability to think while ensuring content and language mastery at the same time. In the Mexican research agenda, there has been a focus on students' learning and taxonomies on how they actually learn. But hardly ever have we found the studies on the innovative strategies that the students use in order to learn in an online fashion, autonomously, and by self-directing their learning paths. We are facing changes in education, in science, in every single field, and we need to keep up with the rhythm of those changes. There have been strategies and the work strategia from the Greek root, well, was referring to specific steps and actions taken for the purposes of winning a war. But for the purposes of this research, it is just related to students' behaviors, skills, and own approaches to learning. The context of this research is in the Universidad de Veracruzana. I work with 25 students from the strategies course, which is a learning experience taken in, in the first term of the BA in English language at the School of Languages. It was carried out from August to December 2020. And basically, I propose the external strategies framework that emerged from the analysis of data, uh, which has to do with the relationship between teaching techniques and learning um, procedures. So external strategies framework are guidelines that include theoretical, empirical, and pedagogical knowledge related to L2 learning. So when I tried to um, present is to merge both external strategies framework and internal strategies one so that the students can create their own situation specific need-based strategies classroom techniques for teachers from this strategies class and well he, he, he hopefully you know uh, um he, he, the, the content and knowledge and learning might impact transversally on language in different courses in the BA, such as English uh, uh, courses and culture comes, uh, 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 courses. And of course, while well, developing the four skills of the language and soft skills such as grammar and vocabulary. I had already revised a couple of classifications of language learning strategies. And what well, I figured out that um, they were um, research studies, I mean, they were a, a very general. So I wanted to contextualize what happens in, in, in this particular case at Universidad de Veracruzana, and in the course of strategies where we have people from different backgrounds and, and, and language levels and ideologies, etc. So um, my um, idea at the beginning was to come up with a contextualized classification. Um, eventually, I figured out that um, rather than a systematic taxonomy, it's a more a, a freer approach for teaching and learning. And that's something I want to explain by merging internal and external strategies, including content and language, 
uh, um, without following any methodology. Uh, I'm going to explain that in a minute, and, or, or, or theory, you know, but following an eclectic uh, approach, let's say, okay. Um, well, let's let's uh, uh, explore first what I checked with one of the most uh, relevant taxonomies on language learning strategies uh, proposed by Oxford. Uh, it's divided into direct and indirect strategies. Um, on the one hand, you have memory related strategies, cognitive strategies, and compensation strategies that are you know, more related to uh, cognition. And on the other hand, you have indirect strategies where, where you can find uh, social strategies, affective and metacognitive strategies with regard to organization and uh, the, uh, the affective filter, the affective domain, the emotional dimension, and how to uh, interact with more knowledgeable peers, which um, basically has to do with uh, um, a collaborative work, etc. Now, there are certain conditions for language learning strategies to work. First, the strategy in use needs to be related to the task at hand and the objectives of the task. Now, B, the strategy fits the particular learning style of the student uh, to one degree or another. And Finally, the student employs this strategy effectively and links it with all the relevant strategies. So we can understand that strategies might be conscious processes or semi-conscious processes, okay? What I did with this research was uh, to follow a qualitative approach. It is a case study. I employed interviews, semi-structured interviews, field notes, and students' journals. Um, I, they, I, I analyze the data by means of grounded theory methods. And, and, and I basically based a, the investigation in order to attempt to answer those questions. How do students learn? What they do? How they do it? When? What for? And how can language learning be enhanced? And there are pedagogical implications. One of them is to merge, you know, um, the instruction, okay, the, 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 the teaching uh, procedures and the learning procedures. Well, the findings are the following ones. External strategies. External strategies um, um, refer to the influence of the content of, a, of the strategies course to the different courses in the BA. This, um, the, well, activities I'm about to present, okay, I mean, they are examples on how those external strategies might be enhanced, uh, are very particular, okay. Um, um, you can see that I have uh, 10 proposals here, maximizing learning opportunities, taking advantage of every single possibility for getting input, facilitating negotiated interaction by means of forums uh, or uh, um, a, a return taking uh, the different, uh, different tasks and activities online because of this re emergency remote uh, teaching and learning stage we are facing in the country. Uh, Activating intuitive heuristics, that is learning to learn how to do things by means of graphic designers, analysis, inference, deduction, a, 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 um, the development of higher order thinking skills, etc. Okay. Fostering language awareness by means of the strategy of noticing, focusing on what it is important, contextualizing linguistic input, integrating language skills, promoting learner autonomy, raising cultural awareness, and ensuring social relevance. relevance okay. How are they going to be enhanced? Well, by means of internal strategies 
that is the implementation in the classroom, what the students do. Um, so um, here you have content that is included in the in the in the course of the strategies to learn a foreign language at, 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 at the University of Veracruz. Okay, uh, psychology, education, and linguistics. Now, those are examples of activities that students carried out. A response paper, which is an academic piece of writing, an observation, and a presentation on culture diversity. The first example that I said here is a, an academic piece of writing where the students had the first opportunity to write academically uh, to show a uh, knowledge of the contents in, in this strategies class, such as learning styles, type, the personality types, motivations, intrinsic, extrinsic, instrumental, uh, internal, etc. So we can see that there is psychology related content. And students are also expected to show metacognitive skills while, uh, um, you know, um, recognizing themselves and the way they learn English. The second is an observation on language learning strategies and learning styles, where they watch a video recording, you know, it's a class where they need to identify and interpret the specific behaviors, needs, and steps taken by students in order to learn. It was a very interesting. They, they filled the chart and they came up with a couple of reflections in relation to uh, two specific students. Okay, They focused on two. They decided the people they wanted to focus on. And I think uh, um, this observational activity um, raised awareness on, on, on how uh, they behave, but others behave as well. Okay. Um, and finally, a presentation that students were asked to carry out to, to, to design and plan. And well, here we can see that there are a culture, a, a content related to, to the task. They, um, seem to uh, recognize that learning a foreign language is to learn a, another culture. Um, they, will, they, they were able to discriminate the differences between their own culture and others and compare their, the, the, the difficulties that each of them presents to find commonalities and differences. In the end, to summarize the, the internal and external strategies, well, I would say that um, what the teacher uh, did plan the instruction was um, trying to enhance uh, awareness of the language and language development at the same time. You can see that the content impacted on different skills, on different learning experiences, such as reading, writing, the language itself, a, a, a pedagogy, a, a, um, and well, this was carried out in an environment of, a, a, you know, a, a tolerance and, and, and inclusion and developing higher order thinking skills, you know, uh, taken by uh, Bloom's taxonomy, such as the creation of, of a, a hypothesis evaluating their own learning, analyzing their progress, applying new strategies, recognizing their own strategies, uh, reflecting on their development, etc. Now for these strategies, uh, there are certain conditions that uh, need to be taken into account. First is the adaptation, uh, the adaptation of material and, and, and the creation of material. I decided to work with posters, with mind maps, essays, charts, and observations that were meaningful and relevant for students following a constructivist approach. Um, the content was also part of, of, the, of the elements that 
made up the possibility to work with the strategies, both internal and external, in taking into account their students' previous knowledge and experiences. And well, uh, in, 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 in an environment, in an online environment, you know, where they needed to participate in, in, in forums, delivering the tasks in due time, showing respect and integration in collaborative work. What are the implications of, you know, trying to find a new taxonomy, a contextualized classification for our context? Well, basically that um, strategies that, 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 that the students develop might have impact on different courses, not only for learning English, but you know, for um, the different skills of the language and, a, and, and for um, different competences, social cultural competence, a strategic competence, and systematic competence. We could also uh, shed light on the fact that learning and teaching are intertwined. So we cannot think of strategies carried out by the student without thinking of the more knowledgeable peer. That is the instruction, the teacher, the, 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 the um, um, supportive uh, strategy for, for the students to learn which is how actually language develops. You know, we can see these ideas from from Vygotsky, from from Brunner, uh, theories that that um, focused on on language and how well language was the main vehicle for thought to be built. Um, we could also conclude that um, we need to think uh, further than in following a method or uh, following an, an approach. But we need to think about post-method approach, OK? And adaptation is needed. So, sorry for the noise. But there is a need for a new suitable and pertinent taxonomy. That's right, because we're facing changes. Um, I, at the beginning, I thought it was going to be a systematic classification. But in fact, it was more adaptable to the language context, okay, where English has a very different role than it had 40 or 50 years ago, right, which is a, a globalization and, and the word of English is where we a, a take advantage of the language to transmit what we want to from our culture. Um, there is a more freedom in relation to strategy building, strategy construction, and the enhancement of strategies, uh, because we are not following specific tasks or activities, but we focus on learning. Um, in that case, well, I would say that strategy should be centered on learning. You know. Um, but they, are, but they are connected with teaching. A student's intercultural background is also important for the development of strategies. They are personal, particular, individual. They could be collective because they all share commonalities. But um, basically, um, these the, the strategies I proposed here, both external and internal, aim to uh, learn to learn and also um, enhance teachers to teach in order to learn more about their students. Okay. Um, some conclusions at the end of my presentation, uh, language learning strategies classification should be understood as an attempt to bring about an edu educational development by doing something which is perceived as contextualized and suitable, which was what I tried to do. Okay. These are my references. Well, thank you very much for your time. And I guess you're gonna have some questions and I will be glad to answer each of them in the synchronic session that we will have. Thank you very much.